Welcome to episode 12 of the Smash Ultimate Modding Workshop. In this episode, I'll be going more into depth about frames by showing three examples of how you can use them. This will be a more relaxed episode after two of my personal favorites. One last thing before we start as well, frames are always defined as floats instead of integers. 1. Getting frames. There's a pretty simple way to check what frame a move is on, and that's with a function that's literally just called motion module frame. I've already set up a fighter frame for this example, so if you don't know how to do that, I'd recommend watching episode 11 first. So what this portion of the code does is make every single one of Mithra's tilts cancelable with a jump uh, between frame 10 and frame 20. This section right here uses motion kind to test if Mithra is currently doing F tilt, up tilt, and down tilt. This part then checks if the move is between frame 10 and frame 20. This detects if the player is holding jump, and if they are, transfer into the jump status. And I'm going to build this and put it in the smash now. And now all of Mithra's tilts are cancelable with the jump. Hey, y'all know turbo mode, where everything can be cancelled whenever you want? Just guess how many lines of code that is. A nice paragraph, maybe an if statement or two. <laughs> It's it's one it's one line. Right here. Cancel module enable cancel. You slap this into a fighter frame, and now everything is cancelable anytime. This is cancel module, and it only has two functions. This first one just allows a move to be cancelable with anything immediately when it's run. Is enable cancel isn't really used very often. So to check when a move is normally cancelable. You would use fighter motion module impl get cancel frame. There's an example here in Rustox, but I also just coded something. I've used get cancel frame in tandem with motion module frame to see how far we are from the end of an animation, and then enable the cancel early. So what this line is doing is getting the cancel frame of the current move, and if it's 20 frames or fewer less than the current frame we allow the move to be able to cancel. And would you look at that? Works like a charm. Lastly, I'll be going over how to change the speed of an attack using FT motion rate. It's a function that you'll see every once in a while in fighter scripts, and at first it does the opposite of what you think. Passing a value of 20 causes the move to take 20 times longer, and setting it to 0.2 would be 5 times faster. It's super simple to get used to, however, and this is an example that I've cut it up real quick. This is Mythos Jab, and it actually came with these motion rates in it already. I've just edited the values in them. See, I've put 3.0 in here, so hopefully Mythos Jab should go super slow. And we've got an egregiously slow jab. As usual, this code will be available in item 1 of the description. I hope this helped, and happy modding!